Meanwhile, the Turkish government is making fresh efforts to renegotiate its trade deal with the European Union. Turkish Economy Minister Nihat Sebekci is meeting EU officials in Istanbul. Turkey is part of the EU's customs union. That means most of the goods made in Turkey can be sold in the EU free of tariffs. Now, the current customs union agreement with Turkey went into effect in 1996. Since then, the EU has become Turkey's biggest export market and the main source of foreign investment into the country. Now, Turkey wants to be included in the EU's trade negotiations with other countries. It also wants the removal of limits on the export of Turkish fruits and vegetables. And it wants Turkish businesses to be, able to, uh, uh, to be able to bid for public tenders in the EU. So let us go to that meeting now between Turkish officials and their EU counterparts. TRT World's Maria Ramos is there. Maria, great to have you on the show. Tell us what's been going on where you are. Well, as a, essentially, this is an opportunity to move away from the tense politics and focus on trade. And today they've been speaking about the customs union. It's now over 20 years old. It's, it needs a facelift, essentially, and to be brought into the 21st century. And that's what they're talking here about today. And I spoke to the organiser of this event and also the EU representative to the delegation for Turkey. And I asked him whether Angela Merkel actually had the power to veto this customs union upgrade, which is something that she actually said back in August. And this is what both of them had to say. So when we came together just two months ago as uh, the presidents of the different European chambers in Turkey, we thought that we have to address the topic of customs union and the upgrade of customs union as it was substantially debated in international and European media, but it was not necessarily given so much pieces of information and we thought that we have to bring some transparency into that subject. Uh, normally decisions of that, uh, of, of, for, that, for those issues, have to be taken by consensus, so all member states will have to agree uh, to open negotiations. It was also made clear in a meeting of the foreign ministers of the European Union back in, uh, in April um, that there are certain aspects and certain uh, points in our relationship that also Turkey has to come forward and has to uh, meet certain criteria, which, are very, which, which in, the, in the eyes of the European Union are very clear. Maria, now we've been talking about the effect of the German general election over the weekend. Merkel, of course, came away with a much weaker mandate. How is that expected to play into Turkey's relationship with Germany and Turkey's relationship with the rest of the EU? Well, Azza, from the people that I've been speaking to, it's really too early to tell. Over the next few months, Chancellor Angela Merkel is going to be busy speaking to her coalition partners. But essentially, from what I heard today, it's talks like these where Turkey and Germany can actually sit down together and just focus on trade that are really essential. And here is where they can actually dispel misconceptions and focus on trade, which is so strong. Strong was the word that everybody actually kept saying. And just on a lighter note, and very relevant actually, behind me you'll see the lights from the Besiktas Stadium. And here a Turkish team is playing a, t a German team tonight. So a very appropriate backdrop to hopefully lift spirits in this trade talks. Back to you. Maria Ramos in Istanbul, thank you ever so much.